Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge. At Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel. You can join the Patreon squad by doing so you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the, uh, of the British crew and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others including Douglas Chambers who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yes, this is the million dollar question that most Jamaicans have been asking about. Where is Portia Simpson Miller? Yes, that's the question. Because, you know, Mark Golden have been campaigning for the past three years. And at one point he was asked where she and he pretty much like, you know, just tell him, say, hey, look, as long as I don't live with her, I'm going to push her again publicly, you know. And then they say, uh, you know, it was a slip of the tongue or, you know, something of the sort. But most people don't know, you know, why she's really missing. You know, the public don't know, you just don't see her. And there's so many things that's going on behind the scenes. Um, with her life, you have you know police officers that's um, bodyguard her. Yes, you know that you have police officers bodyguard her, her home. And I can tell you this that based on information received and obtained from really reliable sources, people who are around her. Why, well, trust me, she don't know the difference between night and day. So you know, Porter, Portia Simpson Miller. Miller's absence from the public sphere is not what she had hoped, but what they have given to her, given her over the years is why she's absent and will be until such time because of what such people have done to her. So whether or not you want to believe it, you know, trust me, hey, you see the PNIPMP is not a nice, hey, it's not a nice organization, you know. Yes, so... Did you know that P.J. Patterson is older than Portia Simpson Miller? Yes, man. P.J. Patterson is older than her. I know most of you, uh, well, 
we not talk the Speedy Gonzalez, but we know, you know, we know, we know say Speedy Gonzalez, them, them won't understand what we are about to say. But if you had follow up like with the Russians, them, or the Russians, them operate, you know, <laughs> once with the Russians, them, when they come on to the political hierarchy and all of these things, or people just, you know, like commit suicide or people just missing and all kind of things. Or, you know, people just go to bed and them just you know, wake up, them have heart attack and then they have a man that was, you know, him, him good today and tomorrow him don't, him see, a, him see the same person or him see him, him family and him don't even know who. Oh. And then him has a wait, oh, what happened? Well, hey, look here, it's pretty much, you know, something like that with Porsche, so them do it over the years. You understand? So these are some nice people, you know. So we know that, you know, then you must be wondering why is Portia Simpson miss, missing from this public sphere? And it is not what she had hoped, but what they have given to her over the years, why she's absent and will be such a time because such people have done her. Yeah, so did you know that even at one time when Peter Phillips was the leader, them try to kill him too, you know, in the same way, big criminal organization. You think of some nice people. Hey, you know, remember one time you say, I'm going to walk on a up on him, but they don't lick him. That's <laughs> so it, you know. Yeah, so, so them get, uh, over the years, so look here, only people are close to you can arm you, you know. And you're saying, all right, as we said to you before, you know, I'm going to say it again. If you know an honest criminal or an honest liar, show me one. The PMP is a criminal organization, you know. I remember, you remember the traffic euro, money, $30 million. She was good, good, you know, until the time come for she testify, you know. She just lose everything, you know. And hey, right now, you know, with her, she want to believe, you know. Sometimes, she take off the wool of her clothes and all them things, you know. Open her house, the mafia bolt up the house. Oh, you know, a police bodyguard her. They're not sworn to secrecy, eh? but they can't talk and all them things. It's just that they man not figure out, don't wait. Uh, who, who tell um you know who tell porter who tell detective porter you understand who tell the, um, the old police and them thing there you understand so that is what is happening with her you know when time but uh, she don't know the difference between night and day take off the bullet clothes near kid and them have to bar up the place sometimes they have to restrain her literally tie her down she, yeah you understand what I'm saying? So the people, the, yeah. So the people within the PMP criminal organization, which operates as a political party, but it's not. It's a criminal organization. Have slowly but indeed put chemicals in the things that Portia Simpson she consumes to deteriorate her brain cells, which is why you are not seeing her publicly. There's a thing we call delirium. It's confusion. Yeah. Confusion caused by a combine of strain of illness, environmental circumstances, or other risk factors disrupting brain function. So them gear things in you know, a drink them or water. Cause you know them people in you know, it. Them have people with them having the organization where well, them claims to them trust. I same thing happened to Donald Pusey you know, He was a PMP um, criminal organization supporter. He was no activist per se. But them say originally he was labor right, so he must change as the time at party in power. And I see him thing them pretty much do Donald. Uh, but him never have it that bad like Portia and them thing. Him just lose his memory and you understand. So this is what happened to Portia. So she don't know night. If she come out and them thing there, and you see her now, you just swear say, you wonder, you would never know the woman. The police officer them can't they, they, them cannot use them phone and take photograph of the former Prime Minister of Jamaica. And he's the first we never see where a former Prime Minister of Jamaica retire and just disappear from the public. Edward C. I go right up to the day where him dead, you still see him. You still see P.J. Patterson, even a creep like some old Turkley. You understand where I tell you that? Yeah, it's P.J. Patterson. Even sometimes you see him move like a little Turkle. Yeah, him take all five hours for walk from his step to um, for sit down, in the, you know, for go out um, on him land. So by the time him go out there, time for him going back because night come down. I just saw it go, yeah, that's the way I tell you. <laughs> yeah, so, your man so poor shit of delirium. So, remember, the truth is often hidden beneath, often hidden beneath the surface, you know. So, this video is going to be long, you know. This video reveals the truth behind Portia Simpson Miller's absence from the public eye. 
So delirium is a state of confusion caused by various factors. Maybe why she has been missing in action. It is speculated that members of the PMP criminal organization have been slowly deteriorating her brain function with chemicals leading to her disappearance from the public domain. Did you know that PJ Pattis is actually older than Portia Simpson Miller? Yes. So this raises the question, why is she absent from public engagements? It is not what she had hoped for, but what but rather what others have inflicted upon her over the years. So in this eye-opening video, find out more about the disturbing reality behind Portia Simpson's Miller's absence. So remember, you know, hey look, it's just like if you're in a gang, and if you notice, you know, I don't know how the mutant want to become criminal, you know, because I've gone so many murder scenes in my life as a detective, and... Low and bold, you know, a man lay down there, whether he might have done or part of a gang and them thing there. Only for no say, I see him people that him and him in a eat or him and them see him and kill him, him friend them. So I don't know how a man wants to become, because it's a very strict, but how you feel become, remember I said the first trait, you know, when you join a criminal organization, you have to be dishonest. The PMP criminal organization is not a political party, it's a criminal organization. So even when you have people who are close to you, you feel so you can't trust. There's no honest criminal. Not because somebody no commit a crime in but you don't know, you know, the modus operandi is to operate as a criminal. So we are telling you, so Portia Simpson Miller have delirium. Delirium is, con is as we tell you already, say, is confusion caused by a combined strain of illness, environmental circumstances, or other risk factors disrupting the brain function. And you know, the PMP, the PMP, them slowly but indeed put chemicals in things that she consumed to deteriorate her brain cell, which is why you are not seeing her publicly. And we are telling that. So everything we am to her, she never did plan for that. So the William, it is more common in adults over 65. So they know so once she reach a certain age, yeah. But a whole heap of things contribute to it, you know. Because when you have delirium, you know, you don't know night from day. You don't even know yourself. So you just uh, exist. Nothing. You don't have control over your mind. Because your mind gone. You can't think. So even somebody that was powerful as Portia Simpson, she don't even know night from day right now. She do wish, she do wish that she was like a little man out on the corner when he not eat and him still have him faculty intact. Because he might enjoy life, see him, I'll do him no money. But they have money now and that can't help them. So it's more common in adults over 65. This condition is severe and can cause long-term or permanent problem. problems, especially with delays in treatment. However, it is often preventable. So, you know, you have, um, you have symptoms and causes. So, you, you know, people have to, you have to do diagnosis and tests, management and treatment, prevention. Then you have outlook, prognosis, living with additional common questions. You understand? Overview What is delirium? So, delirium is a fast developing type of confusion that affects your ability to focus your attention and awareness. It's, a, it's happened when there is widespread disruption in brain activity, usually because of a combination of factors. Hey, look here, you think I'll mark Golden, you think I'll Peter Bunting can't get Mark Golden in the water. You must be mad. Mark Golden carry him water from him yard and he carried him in his pocket, everything. And he said, if he might go eat food, nobody knows he might eat food. He must go buy food and them things for himself. He don't make nobody go buy food because he knows the organization. What do you mean? He has some dangerous people. He has some people that are dangerous. You know? Oh, if you stay so in our party and you say you're a comrade, but you're not a comrade. You're a com, you com, you com, you com gone. No, man, them dangerous. Why? Hey, all them do it. All right? oh, them do it. Why, the man, them terrible, man. Oh, can you know normally comrade not supposed to be happy people, man. Nobody not trust nobody. So him and Peter Bunting, a Peter Bunting and him a friend look at two of them at two of them all two corrals, you know. You understand? And you don't know at the hey, the man there, you know, man, a whole heap of whole heap of people blood up on the man the shoulder, you know, and people are coming to all suicide, you know. They think them easy. May I tell you, you know. So this is it, you know. So delirium is more common in medical settings, such as during an extended hospital stay and long-term care facilities. People with delirium often act very differently 
than they do under ordinary circumstances. So that's why you're not here publicly. And because the traffic euro, but them didn't make sure all of them things. If I'm a traffic euro thing, bus, and you know them, hey, uncle criminal have things to hide, you know. And Jum used to show them know say they, they uh, yeah, the people them from like my community, them have short memory. Something happened last year and them they remember. I even something happened yesterday, them still don't remember that. So that them play upon them things. So the traffic euro thing a big corruption where them collect the money from the the um, traffic euro from the you know company and them thing and Colin can be put in a fee in bank account. And that's so they must have special branch you know. So that's why we are telling now still you know. Mm, some people that's a both political party, they are the same. And I would tend to agree I, would, I tend to agree to some point, but not in its entirety. And the reason why we are saying that is that everything with the PMP criminal organization, this man or this monk, the Jamaica Labour Party now reinstated because it is good for the country you now and them. You know. But because you see them have the same criminal mindset. It's just that them now they are not out there like the, the like the PMP. Them do for them thing more intelligently. Because if they if, if them didn't really love Jamaica, they would have reinstate back special branch and they would have put by the detective vote on the street. You, you get it? Because most of you, especially those who grew up in Jamaica in the 80s and the 90s, would have remembered that any community where you are from or where you were living, you would remember that there was one, two or three detectives where you live. We are criminal you are him nobody not talk about a unit are him criminal freder. You notice there's none of that anymore. Cause I PMP do that, you know. And the GLP ride with it. So sometime in time some people I say, boy, both of them I see him, you know. Yeah, in in a certain regard, would I say yes. But you understand what I'm saying? But them do it differently. You understand? So that's why you have them have the security force uh, monitor I make people sleep like a war zone. Well, I don't want to believe you know. We are telling you, know, Jamaica months away from Haiti. We not ask you months. They are more. Hey, look. Let me tell you this. In case you don't know, and we not digress you know. Cause them see when I destroy Jamaica and everything you know. You see, just like we see what happened in Haiti. All I go into with Haiti you know, they illegal you know. They were there you know, but because the politicians them they corrupt. The man we are prime minister, you know, nobody no vote for him and all them things and they are hold on to power. So I don't know how them are, how them are work out that. You have over 7,000 criminals now on the street. And guess where? Some of them are in up Jamaica. You know so Jamaica is a criminal paradise. So they are going to put them up. And they are make them do things. You understand? So it just we must say you have a smartphone now where people can communicate with friends and all them things. They can't. Who criminal them smart to you know? You understand? Remember, say you have the guy with him, Guy Felipe, who did that Jamaica. So let's see that matter of months. I may tell you, it's when the bloodbath happened. Uh, no zero sympathy for, for those who caught up in it. Cause them can't, and them do it, you know. Yeah, them do it. Them know what, hey, all we are going, you see them are pretend, I pretend, them are pretend. Them no love Jamaica, them don't love power and and, with them, and and what's in it for me and my family. Them no love, if them do love Jamaica, when they love, when they love something, you make sacrifices. You understand? Just like Lee Kuan Yew are Singapore. We don't see that happen. We see corruption still there. Yeah, man. Oh, what? Yeah, we tell like, as we tell you, you know, we say one of them I try to burn it down, and the next one, I pretend like them want to fix it. Pretend. You know, in time, you, you know, when so, them say somebody a fraud, one of them I tell you, say, oh, we want to mash it down, because you know, this we want, because we strive for criminality. And the next one, I pretend like them are fixed, but they not fix nothing. May I tell you that. So, I don't wonder why 120 or 1,000 people never go out the other day and vote. 120,000 people last week never go out and vote. Uh, you know, a week before last, week, yeah, two weeks ago. And let them do it. Because people, they might not eat that, you know. But may I tell you, say, in time this other club, in time it bus, <laughs> may I tell you, it has a roll. Remember me tell you that. But, hey, we see what happened. Because, hey, you see, all police, we have all, we have all 34 rounds and them things there. I hope you can run. Remember me tell you that. And you know, you hear them things there. Because remember, you know, the boy, them have the rifle, them there, and them have them whole heap. And you know, see them how you do anything about it. But what, I pretend, them only pretend like they want to fix the problem, you know. They don't want to fix it. Because the whole of them are part of it, I tell you. Corruption, corruption, corruption. The whole of them. 
Because if you want to fix, if you want to fix a country and you want it better, you have to make decisions that is unpopular. But when you make decisions and show say you're still you're corrupt. You know fix nothing, you're gonna pretend, you're fool the people them, you know. You understand? So as them say, I just the best of the best, the better of both evil. You understand? But I just saw it go. One of them just worse than the other, but the two of them I see him. Well I tell you, the two of them I see him. So the Lurium Yaman yeah, man is a you know as we tell you, it's a fast fast developing type of confusion of the ability to focus your attention and awareness. It's happening when there is a widespread disruption in the brain activities, usually because of a combination of factors. Delirium is more common in medical settings such as during extended hospital stay and in long-term care facilities. And you know, say these are people they act differently. So in years past, expert thought the William was a relatively harmless and, and minor concern. Today, they know it is serious. It is a serious problem that should be recognized and prevented whenever possible. How com common is the delirium? So them said delirium in indicated that delirium affects between 18% and 35% of people admitted to a hospital for inpatient care. So, so they must say, boy, I want you to end up in a hospital setting, you know, so you might, um, it affect you, so you end up with it. So, you understand? So up to 60% of the people in an intensive care unit may experience delirium. However, researchers suspect delirium is more common than statistic indicated. The available research suggests that between 1 in 3 and two in three delirium cases go undiagnosed. So, in that, yeah, so when people go to hospital, or, you know, them of them look away as well as communists, them, they don't just take time slowly, slowly, you know, mash up your brain and them thing there. So, all of them confusion. Them. So, while delirium is more common in older adults, adults, especially those who are 65, it can happen to anyone. Children, teenagers, and adults can develop these skills under the right circumstances. Is delirium the same as dementia? Delirium and dementia aren't the same thing. Delirium involves waxing and waning. Symptoms meaning they get better and worse. Dementia refer, refer, refers to as a steady decline in thinking ability. However, it is easy to think that they are the same because they have many similarities. They can also overlap and happen at the same time. And having dementia increases your risk of developing del delirium. Delirium can also accelerate your development of dementia or make existing dementia worse. Both delirium and dementia involves confusion. But there are some different, there are some critical differences. So you have, you know, type of delirium, dementia. How rapidly does it appear? Fast. It seems over hours or days. Slowly, it can take years before it's seriously enough to notice. So that's how them do posture. For years, them just take time and get the little, little things. So that's why sometimes she, sometimes she go out and she says, some, and people say, wait, I wish I say, yeah, I the effect that from where they may not take time here. And the people that are close to her, but say, oh, sister P, you know, mama P will love you and this and that. Hey, the PFL, I will tell you, you know, there's no criminal organization. Nobody no understanding a criminal organization. There's show, if you know an honest criminal, show me one. If you know me an honest liar, show me one. So I may I tell you, ask Mark Golden. Mark Golden no cure well in them upper, upper headquarters and them thing. He not take nothing out of the fridge. Even something will come seal, him not drink it. Because him know where they go with and all them thing. Hey, you think them easy? Oh, you think all Peter Bunting can give me, give me all that gum? Them man not eat nothing from nobody. Because they know the kind of... I just saw it go them thing. Yeah, what do you mean? Then if you if you then an uh, organization, you know says a criminal organization. You can't trust nobody you know, because everybody a criminal. There's no honest criminal. So that's why if you notice, you know. If you notice Mark Golden, he might go in and care Peter Bunting with him and them thing there, you know. Although Peter Bunting, he's a part of the rice thing, you know. You say, hey, look, 
You see, all if all, if Mark Wall become Prime Minister, nobody think he might give Peter Bunt in a big post, you know. I send it to my pick him stay you know, because uh, he's the Prime Minister, you know. Him no one nobody were up there with him and them things, you know. He might have to know, say, oh, uh, him the man, you know. And them man, you know, go eat for nobody, you know. Because he know it go, you know. Because he know all the mash up um, Porsche, you know. Yeah, me I tell you. You understand? So them say what happened over time. It can come on and go, getting better and worse from our. And it gets slowly and progressively worse. Is it preventable? Yes. In up to one and third cases, no. Is it treatable? Yes. With treatable causes? No. But some symptoms are treatable. Can it get better? Yes. But recovery is less likely or will take longer without treatment. No dementia is permanent. What are some other terms for delirium? One of the biggest reasons why delirium often goes unrecognized because there's a history of describing it using different terms or names. Today, healthcare providers use this term very specifically. Other terms or phrases people use or previously used to describe delirium can include sundowning, pleasantly confused, intensive care unit or post-surgery, psychosis, altered mental status. This term is helpful in other contexts but isn't preferred for delirium. Encephalopathy, symptoms and causes. What are the symptoms of delirium? Delirium indicates a widespread disruption in brain activities. That means there are many possible symptoms of delirium. It is also important to remember the symptoms may look different from one person to the next. It, is also, it can also fluctuate. Delirium can often get better during the day and worse at night as night, night time approaches. So these conditions sometimes get the incorrect name of sundowning. The main symptoms of delirium is confusion. Cause you don't, that's why that's why Porsche don't know the difference between night and day. That's why she take off all her clothes. She not control over herself, you know. They mash her up, you know, man. Can you believe that, man? So Bruce Golding, you see Bruce Golding, him, him, you know, say miss, he miss being prime minister in a public sphere, but uh, because he, he was no labor right and he was an opportunist. The PMP them can them all him after do send Christopher to the scope uh, go on him way. And deal with Peter Phillips and lock them up for, for signing an a illegal MOU. No, you want to take on America and them things. In a long run now, and you have to resign in a disgrace. What a thing. But so it goes to learn and you want something. When you want something bad and when you get it, you just lose it. Because you never deserve it. I just saw it go. So I don't care nobody wants to say Bruce Golding decide. No, Bruce Golding was in a labor right. If you're in a labor right, just stay. You understand? Because if Edward Sayaga did say, uh, he doesn't have the right now for replace him. You know, just go on easy. Because he don't know, say, I hear the man number two. You just relax. What? I burnt him out of feelings after Sayaga didn't have the favor. You know, Sayaga dead. So you know, just go on wait out, wait him out. Mu- you understand? He, he must relent, you know. Because if you did stay there and them things, the vote them will go to NDM Jamaica and a better place to the day. But selfish. Uh, boy, my feelings hurt. No, man. You just stay there. You understand? So, as we tell you, say, the main, you know, so, I just, the, main, the main symptoms is confusion. You understand? So remember facts, even people, etc. You know, thinking and concentrating. So them, that, them, 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 them can't think, them can't concentrate because that not work. Staying aware of your surroundings. Answering correctly when asked what time it is, the date and where you are. She don't know them things, the portion and know them things. We know so most of the speedy Gonzales them drop off already and them thing there, cause you know goldfish attention them have. That's why we tell you this channel and entertainment channel. This is not for goldfish is them you know. This is for people who want to learn. You understand? And educate themselves. So trouble speaking clearly, answering questions, or understanding what others are saying. Trouble processing what you see, including identifying objects or where you are. So you know say fear husband in bed reading. Um, boy, that, that, that the man, uh, Miller, him, boy, hey, uh, him, him make a whole heap of money through she still doing you know? Boy, I, mean, I tell you, you know, I saw, pat- hey, 
But that man wants to believe it or not, you, know. you think them body going on a politics to help people? Them going to help themselves, the whole of them. May I tell you that? Only very few politicians going to help people. And them a thief. Can look another man like Warmington. You never hear them on the thief yet. You never hear them investigate them man for nothing. You understand? So I just saw it go. But hey, you don't say them not like him, you know, because he's straightforward. And Warmington is smart in him. I trust nobody. So feeling more emotional, scared, or angry. Symptom patterns of delirium tend to fall into one or three categories. That's why she always run around in her house and I try to open up the place. They have to bolt up the, hey, the place, come like they have to put on, um, you know, like how you have shop back in the days where they, have the, where they put all the big plank and all them things, the two and three plank, you can't kick off the door. Yeah, I saw all that they have to do with fear place and them lock her in and, and the, the, the window them, the light can't come in and all that. All the light come in, she start scream and all them something, it's sunlight, you understand? I yeah, said, wait, how oh, this woman how she reach her and them thing? The boy just saw it go. If 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 she didn't know you and she see you now, she don't even know you. I'll even Robert walk out and marry you know, a guy that him uh, him I suppose the longest body girl for her. If him go him go look for her now, she don't even know Walker. She could have seen my spit pan him or I can't as a man see and them thing. <laughs> yeah, boy I tell you, hey, hey people are easy the rest of you better tell you that, you man, uh, you know, uh, man, boy, I better tell you, I hold up a thief, thief in police, you have no Jamaica, you know, I tell you, man, I hold up, you understand, I uh, hold up a thief in police, man, enough of them that are Jamaica, you know, so, yeah, man, so, you know, moving on, so, you know, so, as we tell us, you know, symptoms and patterns of delirium fall into one or three categories, so you have hyperactive, hyperactive mix, hyperactive delirium this type of delirium include involve higher activity levels includes it can include agitation aggression combativeness or refusal to cooperate so in time i tell her i said boy oh do this and she start cussing and going bad and she tell him some real jamaican language you know yeah but as some and between me i still am I'm mostly man there you have woman and she not hey and this minute she eat and she just start cussing us, fling with it. So them have, she, she can't even eat out and up. She can't get no drinks or water and them things out and up in a glass. Because she will arm herself. So a plastic, she them have to go back to. Plastic plate, paper plate, paper cup. So them have to give her things and you understand. All evening, all evening spoon them she eat with and them things. They have to supervise her because you know she arm herself, you know. You understand. And you know, say all during the night. During the night, she talk right through the night. So they have to have the house. So the house, right through, every day is like adult night. She can't see the sun. When time she sees sun at them time, she get worse. So, you know, and she have poor sleeping during nighttime hours. Nighttime hours, she talk to her, she talk. I like all 10 people, them say she talk. Because them say, if you don't know, say, boy, I she alone inside her, so. You think all ten people inside there. I don't know much she might still doing it because I will share got through and them thing. Cause she now no control over what 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 is going on. Cause I a chemical, the drugs when them gear over her ears. You understand? I mash her up. Mash her up. I don't know because then they she got testify for the traffic euro thing. I see it, it's not even a big thing. Cause all of them are all of them I see, all of them are thief. Cause them don't even you know uh, everything um you don't even see the media report probably tell them thing that oh the thing go on, you know, what is what? Thirteen um what, eighteen years? Yeah, I saw them uh, criminal them. So it, you know it, it have psychosis symptoms including delusion delusions and uh, hallucination. Hallucination anytime people are see things and you understand, man, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like all when a man all smoke all weed or anything and him see all some little man and all uh, hallucination and all them things. So you understand. So all them something she got you. Loss a fil uh, you know, filter such as using profanity in a way that is not typical of you or saying things you wouldn't ordinarily say. So that's how I happen with, with Portia. Hyperactive delirium. This type of delirium involve lower activity levels Hy hyperactive delirium is harder to diagnose because healthcare providers may mistake it for fatigue or depression symptoms include reduced facial expression and speaking 
reduce responsiveness to changes in your environment. Apathy, apathy and a lack of interest in what's happening around you. So you know, say, hey, I'm supposed to say, say Miller you know, is a woman and she loves out the pan campaign trail. You know. And you see, um, gummy beer, you see gummy beer out there for over three years. And up to now, you know, say, push out there with gummy beer because I want to go on with her, you understand? Slugginess, slow movement or lethargy. Diminishing interest or participation in your care. Mixed. As the name suggests, the mixed type of delirium combines features of hyperactive and hypoactive types. It tends to have one of the following appearance. Typical activity level. You are still confused and not fully aware of your surroundings. But your activity level is similar to what's usual for you. Shifting activity level. You shift back and forth between hyperactive and hypoactive delirium type. Sometimes you may show hyperactive symptoms but then change to hypoactive symptoms. This can also involve hypoactive symptoms and sleeping during the day and hyperactive symptoms like agitation or aggression at night. So that I go on with her. You know. All kind of things I go on with the woman, they mash her up. So what causes delirium? Available research indicate that delirium is a complex condition that doesn't happen for a single reason. Instead, delirium occurs when the balancing act between your functional capacity, your functional limitations or other stressors get pushed too far. You understand? One side is your functional capacity. That's how much you can handle and recover from without being overwhelmed. So, you know, say the traffic you are thinking, you know, all that, uh, you understand, that kind of pressure. But you don't know, along with other stressors, so you don't know. God, if, hey, hey, look here, you have some drugs in you know, a man, where you can't see, you know, and a little, a little tip, you know, you just tip, you know, that mash up, you know, man. The Russians, them good for that, you know. I remember, said so the PMP criminal organization is close to the, the Russians and the Cubans. And them see, man, I saw it going, and them say, boy, them see as a liability for get rid of you. I don't know, man. Hey, me could never be a part of no criminal organization. Cause when you're not a criminal, you can't trust nobody. Because I just saw it go, there's no honest criminal. You understand? So that's anything that's make it harder for your body to work as it should. Functional capacity. So it have plus functional limitation minus stressors that can cause or contribute to delirium. Physical health. Chronic health condition conditions, acute sudden illnesses, mental health, mental health conditions, new or chronic injuries, energy level, increase in age, medical procedures, surgeries or hospital stays, diet, poor diet, stress, trouble hearing or seeing what happening around you, lack of sleep, lack of mobility, lack of social interaction, Lack of natural light to help you tell day from night. That's why we are telling her she don't know the difference between day and night. She, know, she can't tell the difference from day and night. Because they mash her up. So your body and mind can keep working or recover from problems as long as you have enough functional capacity. But risk factors reduce your functional reserve. For more stressors and risk factors, you have the easier it is for delirium to happen. When stressors outweigh your functional reserve capacity, either on your on their own or because risk factors make, make you more vulnerable, you can develop delirium. Stressors, causes and contributing factors. The possible factors that can contribute to developing delirium in, in a medical setting include conditions you have. People with dementia have a higher risk of developing delirium. Many conditions such as cancer, infection including HIV, pneumonia or COVID-19, septics or strokes can make it more likely to happen. People with a recent bone fracture are at a higher risk for develop delirium. Procedure you can undergo or treatment you receive, people who undergo major surgery, 
especially unplanned urgent or emergency surgery have a much higher risk of developing delirium. Intubation or mechanical ventilation can also make it much more likely to happen. Mobility, not moving for extended periods, especially lying down, can affect brain function. People who move and participate in physical therapy have a lower risk of de de developing delirium. And delirium is shorter if they still do develop it. Tethers. These terms refer to anything attached to or inserted into your body that limits how you move. This includes intravenous that are IV into your veins. Lines are fully catheters, inserted dev device that drain pee directly from your bladder. Oxygen tubes are physical restraints. So them thing is, they have to use physical restraint at time. You understand? Sometimes they have to like, man, I don't, you know. Sometimes they have to do things just to keep her. Where she does have, all she have to do is, she, you know, it makes you go sleep and them thing there. So some medication can increase your risk in developing de delirium even when used as prescribed. Because of this, healthcare providers often avoid prescribing certain medications to people 65 and older or those with a history of certain condition. Polypharmacy, taking more than five medications at a time, also increases your risk. Non-medical medical drugs are medication use. Non-medical non -medical use of drugs, including using prescription medication in a way other than prescribed, can cause drug-induced drug delirium. So if you, 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 know, you take medication and them say, boy, take two, take two every three hours, and you take four, that can help cause delirium. Your environment. Natural lighting help, help your body maintain its cells of night and day. And losing that sense can greatly increase your risk of developing delirium. Sound is another sense that can affect your sleep. Wake cycle. Lack of sleep is a significant contributor to delirium. Lack of pain management. Poorly managed or un unmanaged pain can contribute to your risk of having delirium. Stimulation or lack of it. Your body needs sensory input, and if you aren't getting it, this can be negatively affect your brain, especially as you get older. People who need hearing aids or eyeglasses have a higher risk of developing delirium, especially if they aren't using these assisti assistive terms. End of life factors. Delirium is possible during the end, end stages of life. Especially for people receiving palliative care or hospice care. That means a boy in the say, alright, boy, you live on your way to the departure lungs. So them just speed it up. Social isolation. Separation or isolation from family, friends and loved ones can worsen delirium. So like how she done the children and all them things, that's even worse than she. So you don't know. And most of you are like brother and niece and nephew and them things. And boy, some of my family, she never did even nice with them and them thing. Because she, she never rise up in her political ranks. She never busy with them and them thing. I just saw it go with some people. They don't remember where they come from. You understand? So family members are valued members of the treatment team and can assist keeping you aware of your surroundings. People who have family members visited have a lower likelihood of developing delirium and have fewer days where they experience delirium. Risk factors. Several risk factors can make it easier to develop delirium. They include age, especially 65 years and older. Many changes that happen naturally as you age also increase your risk of developing delirium. Dementia. Dementia or other de degenerative brain disease. disease. Delirium can happen more easily in people who have an existing condition that affects brain functions. All degenerative and age-related brain disease can contribute to delirium or make it more likely to happen. Other, physic other chronic physical conditions, diseases and conditions like heart disease 
and COP put strain on your body. That strain can make it easier for our delirium to happen. The more chronic conditions like these that you have, the greater the strain and the higher the risk. Mood disorder. A history of mood disorders, particular depression, increases your risk of developing delirium. So you see how many things, because they know, hey, they know, hey, there are so many things that you can develop this kind of illness, you know. But you know, so boy, if, hey, especially, especially when it gets a jump start. Vision and hearing last later in life. Your senses, especially your vision and hearing, help you know what's happening around you. Last of those senses reducing your brain ability to use cues from the outside world, making it easier for delirium to develop. Misuse of alcohol and non-medical drug use. Non-medical opioid and benzo near pine drug use strongly increase the risk of developing delirium. Previous history of delirium. People with a history of delirium are at a higher risk of developing it in the future. Frailty. This medical term describes how vulnerable you are to illness or injury. Frailty naturally increases as you get older. That's why a fall for a young adult may cause any injury, but similar fall to someone over 65 can be more dangerous. Likewise, physical frailty makes it easier to develop delirium, especially later in life. What are the complications of delirium? Delirium involves widespread disruption in brain activities which can lead to many complications. They range from minor and short lived to severe and permanent complications. To know about include new onset dementia or worsening exist of existing dementia, falls and traumatic injuries, long term or permanent brain function problems, cognitive impairment, inability to care for yourself leading to a loss of independence, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other mental health conditions. Loss of physical ability, diagnosis and test. How is it diagnosed? A LK provider diagnosed delirium based on a combination of methods. These include a physical exam, a neurological exam, observing your behavior and symptoms you show, talking to you and asking questions, a review of your history, of your medical history, lab testing. What tests will be done to diagnose this condition? They are not any lab or diagnosis tests that can diagnose delirium directly. However, a variety of tests can play a role in searching for possible acute causes. These include electrolytes imbalances such as low sodium or that means you know somebody that way them have low blood pressure. Checking glues close, blood sugar level or looking for a sign of infection. If testing find any causes that can cause also help guide treatment. Management and treatment. How is delirium treated? And is there a cure? There is no specific treatment or medication for delirium. Instead, LK providers will treat causes and contributing factors they can identify, helping people with mobility and activities or removing tethers can help delirium get better. Monitoring and adjusting medications can also help improve delirium while you undergo treatment for your underlying causes. Medications and delirium. There aren't any medication to treat delirium directly. Instead, medications treat underlying causes or specific delirium symptoms. That means the treatment can, can vary widely depending on the contributing factors and your symptoms. Healthcare providers may consider antipsychotic medication for treating hyperactive delirium because they reduce agitation and combativeness. So what them have to say, boy, I'm mad, you're mad now, you know. Yeah, so they have to give you mad people medication. Yeah, yeah you understand, antipsychotic medication. I just saw it go. Because I mash them mash up, mash up our brain, you know. And there's no way for repair it. 
She gone. I just saw them do it. So she just wait. She just, you know, closer. She get closer now to the departure long. You think them people are easy? Are some wicked? What am I going to tell God? Say? So, hey, and that's why Peter Phillips just let go, you know. Because I'm going to say, him stay, you know. Because them just say, you know, you the people, them say, I kill the man, them, um, the rice people, them nearly kill him. You, you, you know, you all the brother, when uh, uh, when you Omar Ebanks, you know, you him say to Mark Golden, the man, Peter Bunting, almost kill him, you know, man. I almost kill the man, you know. Because them use somebody who close to him. You understand? So, I understand all. Mikkel, uh, when you Mikkel, uh, Miguel, uh, Mikkel Phillips, Oh, hey, oh, you're for close to a man to do all year. For, hey, let me tell you, you know, you saw, hey, you, you saw them stay? No more on all me, you know. All right, me and I PMP criminal organization. Dr. Peter Phillips are my father. And them man, they, them man, they, um, Peter Bunting and um, Mark Golden rally against my father and get rid of him. Oh, you think me and him could have been a friend? I never go kiss up to them, no time. Because you are my father enemy. But I saw them stay, you know. That me I tell you, you know, say, enter in a PMP criminal organization. You give away your brain. You give away your brain to the party. The criminal organization, you can't think. A normal person, a normal human being. Just, me not talk the Speedy Gonzalez. A normal human being. If a man hurt your parent, that, them, the people, they must do that. You and them can't be friends. Even when you grow up. For instance, my, my, my parents are my and the neighbor they never have no problem. What does I talk about? People will have problems with them neighbor. Cause, you understand? My peer, my father is a man, I hardly talk. You understand? My mother, yeah, my mother is a radical and them things they may tell you. But she never have a problem with people. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? So the thing is that now, if you have your parents and somebody will do your peer one of your parents something, you know, and as a normal child, you know go kiss up to them the people there. And you see what Miguel Phillips say hello? I will all umbrella for Mark Golden after that them force out him father. That for sure you say, you know, I tell you already, you know, it's a criminal organization. It's like a cult. A man don't even have him brain, I think, because of power. My father, you must be mad, man. No, sir. Hey, one thing with my father and him thing. Anybody will do me nothing. My father not deal with them, I tell you. I saw my father roll, and I saw me roll too. You can't do my father nothing, and me and you be a friend. No, sir. You understand? Yeah. You understand? A whole heap of police are my father and a friend before my father, before me become police. And, then, and my father don't deal with them. I just saw it go. Yeah. They must see my father and heal him. And you, you understand what I'm saying? I just I saw it go. So I don't know how the man do it. But I saw it go and them thing that when you're in it, a man just lose all I'm trying to talk to him. Can't think rational. Oh, and God hurt the man and your father. All of them things there. And then you and my friend? No, nah, man. Unless I must be planning a plan to kill them and them things there. No, no, seriously. Oh, you, no, just think about it. Oh, I'm do it. But yet still, you know, yet, yeah. why may I tell you? So, moving on. So, in general, a healthcare pro provider is the best person to tell you about the possible treatment they recommend. If you have a loved one who has delirium. Or about the treatment you receive. If you had del delirium previously, the information they provide will be the most relevant to your situation. Complications side effects of treatment the complications and side effects of treatment depend on the treatment use and many other factors your lk provider or your loved ones providers is the best source of information about possible complications and side effects prevention is deliver delirium preventable mm. Delirium is often preventable, but most preventative measures are things only clinical personnel should do. So you know, just get up and just do it yourself. However, family, friends and loved ones can play a very important role in reducing the risk of delirium. Don't try to help a loved one with delirium unless a LK provider, especially your loved one's physician or nurse, tell you it's okay to do so. So you know, just get up and... Boy, boy, bush and all kind of madness and all them things there. Yeah. Following the guidance of trained healthcare providers is key to keeping both you and your loved one safe from harm. Because when people have delirium, you know, them get combative, violent and all kind of thing. And them pretty much them lose all. The members say them not have all them marbles because them brain a deteriorate. And them don't even know. Because remember, say I see them people, them, where, them they run and them things there. You know, them see one mash them up, you know. So what do you think? And them mash up, mash her up. You understand? And give her thing for wheat in her brain cells them. You understand? 
So healthcare, healthcare providers prevented with technique. So here are some methods that healthcare providers use to prevent delirium. Regular delirium assessments. Rounding and tracking mental state can help providers catch subtle warning signs. That means delirium could develop. Make natural lighting a priority. That means you must get a whole heap of sunlight. So people when I get sunlight and them thing there, them can't deal with delirium and I don't even know. So it's good, it good for you to open up your place, get sunlight. If you don't go out of the road and all them things there, you can't see sun. So you know the difference between night and day. Because once you stay, so now when you start in this isolation, you, you understand what I'm saying? And everybody that really that strong can deal with them things there. Because you end up with it. Because here, delirium is a form of, it's so, has something to do with your brain. And you know, you understand? You know all the rush, all the Cuban, all the communists them work, you know? If you follow Cuban politics and understand how them operate, people just tend to disappear, lose them, lose all kind of thing. Them just get mad, them just got them bed dead, all kind of thing. And doctor can't find it. And all them do is study off to destroy people. Because remember saying that? Communism you know, and, the, and the PMP criminal organization, I see them philosophy, but just one just pretend to them in a democracy. Then they are not. Because you, you just look what happened. With the last election, you know, you might go in and say, I'm winning when I'm lose. A communist start them thing there. You understand? Up to now, he not come out and give a concession speech. He still say, I'm win and I count them all a create all other number and all them things. They say, I two me. Well, boy, we have two me in a sense, so we are counting that too. When the Labour write them, they don't say the same thing and them thing there. They say, uh, No, we don't want that and them thing there. Because through them, know, them know say send catching, the part they are send catching. But I'm more in the labor right them favor, but hey, remember, you know, the licky licky people, them, <laughs> you understand? What I'm oh, yeah, when we say that, the speedy Gonzalez, them, you know, say so all them care about, you know, is just for eat a food, just one day, and then they care about the rest of the time. And then them, yeah, yeah, them live upon each other, them feed upon each other. And you know, you know, things that feed upon each other for survive, you know, what is that? You understand? So, re you know, regular de um, delirium assessment. Rounding and tracking mental state can help providers catch subtle warning sign. That means the realm could develop. Make natural light in priority. Using natural light during the daytime and provided enough darkness at night help your body natural timing stay accurate. Stay oriented to the time of day can be a big help in preventing delirium. Using glasses and hearing aids. Vision and hearing problem can increase the risk of developing delirium or make it worse. Eyeglassing, eyeglasses and hearing aids can help your brain process information about the world around you. Early mobility is key. People who move around early in treatment with medical guidance are the lower risk of developing delirium in large clinical trials. Your healthcare provider will tell you if this is possible for you and will help you do this safety, safely. Following provider instruction in this area is absolutely critical to preventing injuries, especially falls. Never try to help a loved one stand up or move unless a healthcare provider tells you it's okay for you to do so. So like how Portia every day, she take off her clothes and she cuss and she go on and she run on in her place and... And you know, say, hey, when I was thing in time, somebody I'll be a while them with there. You know what I'm saying? That's cause it's really, this, uh, it's hurtful, you know, but I just part of life. You understand? Imagine how somebody where you know, especially the most powerful person in your country. I know that person would do anything, although they don't know themselves, they may not do anything just to give up everything with them have, just to have some, I live them life where they might enjoy it. But she not enjoy it right now. Because she don't know night from there. Although she, she in her body, but she not in her right frame of mind. Because she have delirium. Eat with her brain. You think them easy. You understand? You understand? I just saw it go. So minim, minim, minimize tetras effects. Tetras include anything that can make it harder to move around. This include IV and oxygen lines. Urinary, urinary cather, catheters. 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 Earth and physical restraint. That means them tie you up down on a bed, handcuff you or whatever, tie you down, or them put you in a restraint. Healthcare provider will use regular tetras as assessments to minimize how these items contribute to delirium. 
mental exercise keeping your brain aware of day time and situation especially with calendars and clocks can help reduce the risk of delirium family members and loved ones can assist with mental exercise and stimulation with the instruction of your your care provider all loved ones can contribute to delirium prevention loved ones can play a significant role in preventing and addressing delirium for someone in a medical setting the goal is to keep your loved ones Engage and anchor to a world around them. Things you can do include visit, social interaction with family, friends and other loved ones can be a major help in preventing delirium. If your loved one is in hospital or medical facility settings, be sure to follow the rules and guidelines for visiting too. Phone or video calls are also helpful for those who can't make it in person. Talk, conversation that go beyond simple call. Talk are a fantastic way to help loved, one, loved ones stay oriented. Try to engage their memory and talk about things they enjoy or find interesting. Be sure to talk to them like adults and avoid talking to them like you would a child. Yeah, so if you have adult conversation with them, you talk to them like a baby and them things. Yeah, talk, you know, tell it, cause they look, they may tell you things where. Look, before you even burn on all them, you understand what I'm saying? So you just listen. I just saw it go, you know, part of your journey, you know. I especially like with she, they mash her up. You must uh, look a little um, chemical. Hey, you're the friend for say some little thing where I look a drop or something or mash you up. And that's how man, white people study them things how for this tribe, you mash up people, you know. I tell you, you know. Yeah, you understand. Decorate and provide familiar objects, settings, or photos that your loved one recognize. recognizes and emotionally connect to can be helpful way to keep them connected to their surroundings. Familiar items like a treasure blanket or a vase with their favorite kinds of flower, flowers may also help. Engage, participate in activity with your loved ones, if possible, board and card games, puzzle and watching TV or listening to radio programs can all be good sheer activities. Outlook and prognosis, what can, what can I expect if I have delirium? If you have delirium, the disruption in your brain function means you won't be truly aware of or be or able to understand what's happening to you. So it, is, uh, it also affects your memory, judgment, and control over what you say and do. So that's why Portia now, no, if she come out of the street, trust me, she will just take out the whole of her clothes and them thing. Ne. And you know, say she wouldn't want nobody to see her body and them thing. Ne. But I just saw it go. But hey, I saw it going still when they're in a criminal, criminal organization and people want power and they're willing to destroy you and them thing. Ne. So you understand? So, boy, I mean, I tell you, I just saw it go. So while delirium is temporary, the effects and symptoms can sometimes linger. This is especially true when delirium is severe or goes untreated. However, even with treatment, the effects can be long-lasting because of that. The best way to manage delirium is to prevent it from ever happening, or at least to limit the effects. How long delirium lasts? The duration of delirium varies and many factors can affect it. Affect it. For some, it may be short-lived, lasting hours or days. For others, it can last weeks or even months. Even after delirium ends, some of its effect might remain for weeks, months or the rest of your life. What's the outlook for delirium? The outlook for delirium can vary widely. In general, the outlook tends to be worse when delirium goes undiagnosed for a long period or when it's particularly severe. The delirium can affect your physical and mental health, quality of life and your overall sense of well-being, especially when it's severe. In more severe or lasting cases, delirium can cause you to develop dementia or make existing dementia worse. In more severe cases, delirium can cause disability or significantly increase your risk of death. Because the outlook can vary widely, your LK provider or your loved one's, prov loved one's provider is the best person to tell you what the outlook is for your specific situation. They can tailor that information to reflect all the positive and negative factors 
that play a role. Living with, how do I take care of myself? If you have de delirium, it it's severely disrupts how your brain works. Having delirium means you can't take care of yourself and have to rely on others for help. When delirium is more severe, you need higher level of care, typically in a me medical settings. If your loved one has delirium in a medical setting, they need regular care. Once their delirium subsides, they may still have lingering effects. Your loved one, healthcare provider can tell you more about these effects, what they may mean, how long they are likely to last, and what kind of care or assistance your loved one will need. So boy, we are telling you, know, so you see what them do to Portia Simpson Miller? And them same one do it, you know, PMP criminal organization, they are the same one, uh, you know, them give her little, little drugs, you know, food and uh, drink and you know, whatever, water, and it eat with her brain. So now the woman is like a baby. Yeah, she know, she have delirium. So that's why you're not seeing her. And if you notice any time, uh, if you talk to anyone in a PMP criminal organization, in a hierarchy, like, you know, the, like um, Gummy Beer and Batty, uh, Batty Face, uh, Peter Bunting, you know, them can't tell you anything. They will tell you, and when they matter, them laugh. It's how, 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 how wicked people behave, and them laugh. You understand? Like, them I say, yeah, me get her and all them things. But yet, still, all of them claim that they, they must friends with her. I leave the Angela Brownberg, you think them easy power. I tell people all the time, you know, the richest entity in any world are always the government. You no matter how much money a private, a private sector person have, or an investor, or an entrepreneur, they don't have more money in the government. Because the government, that's how we all have money there, in our country. So that's why everybody in our politics are want to be in a government. For thief. No matter if you say them going to make your life better. I tell you. They're going to make them life better and them friends and them family. Some of them. You understand? Honest, very, very, very rare to find an honest politician. Like a Edward Warmington. You understand? You never hear him teeth. You never hear him name mix up in them. But the others, them, yeah, I'll even, I'll even some of them, you know, people idolize them. You know, so them are Jezebel and all them things there. You understand? So, I just saw it go. But it's really, really sad how Portia Simpson Miller reached this point. Our life, where the same people them in our own party, them over the years them take time and destroy her. Now the woman, you know, and PJ Patterson is still there, you know. Yeah, man, the same black man him still there. Nothing not do him. PJ Patterson now walk up, walk up and you know see him here. Yeah. But I just saw it going on. I saw wickedness going on. When people wicked, them not care about others. They must destroy, you know, cut and go through and. Cause I saw it going to you know, no criminal, there's no honest criminal or liar. I just hope you learned something from this. I know you know what's going on, why you're not seeing Portia Simpson Miller. And, um, yeah, we're not going to reveal resources and all of these things. But that, that is the information that we have, that um, she have delirium. And, you know, it's something that affects our brain. And we're sorry to hear that, you understand what I'm saying? Because imagine somebody is alive, but even the person, although you are alive, just to me a thought about it. Them are the things and them don't aware of what them are. That is just, man, that is all come like, but I mean, like something else just take over your body. You understand? And the person don't even know because you're not, a your body, a your face, everybody, yeah. So you know, say a portion that, but portion, you know, say a portion she. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.